एंड वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर नंबर 28 दिस इज द लास्ट लेक्चर फॉर सबोर्ट रिएक्शंस एक्चुअली इन दिस लेक्चर आई हैव टेकन अ स्पेशल सम ओके इन व्हिच यू कैन डू और यू कैन फाइंड सबोर्ट रिएक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ टू मेथड्स फर्स्ट वन इज आवर रेगुलर मेथड मींस इक्विलिब्रियम मेथड्स मींस स्टेप 1 2 3 4 5 एटसेट्रा इन व्हिच यू आर टेकिंग सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू 0 you are taking moment at the left support you are taking sigma v equal to 0 and then after you are finding the resultant reaction okay this is the conventional method but the same support reactions can be found out with the help of lamis theorem also okay you must know about lamis theorem lamis theorem we have studied in the chapter coplanar concurrent forces so with the help of that method also we will discuss the support reactions in this numerical check out the question first for the overhanging beam shown in figure okay in this figure the beam is overhanging you can see the beam is overhanging after the point b right side compute the magnitude and direction of the support reactions at a and b okay so you have to find support reactions at a and b using two methods first one is equilibrium method means our conventional method and second one is lamis theorem okay now see the beam carefully actually the beam is very very simple in which only one and one only load is acting at point c the load is actually inclined in the downward direction you can see over here inclined in the downward direction at point c now slope of the inclined force 170 kN is given as 15 and 8 the angle theta is made with the horizontal line means 8 so you can calculate tan theta is equal to 15 by 8 so theta will be available now 61.92 degree okay so theta is equal to 61.92 degree so theta is available so hence you can make a component vertical component and horizontal component of this 170 kN So 170 sin theta is the vertical component. By replacing theta over here, you can find in the calculator it is 150 kN. Okay, vertical component. A horizontal component is 170 cos theta. Replace this 61.92 again in the same equation. You will find 170 cos theta is equal to 80 kN. So these are the vertical and horizontal components. Now what is our method? When horizontal force comes into the picture. we have to replace horizontal reaction also where is the horizontal reaction horizontal reaction must be at the simple support not on the roller support so you can see over here in this figure point b is the roller support while point a is the simple support okay so i have replaced at point a horizontal reaction h where is h what is the direction of h so h is in the direction exactly opposite to the applied force so here you can see at point c the horizontal force applied is towards left side so reaction should be in the opposite direction right side h now you are wondering that why this va is going down actually va is going down in this figure it means that when we calculate support reactions maybe the value of va will be negative so when va becomes negative it can be drawn downwards but it doesn't matter you can start with the upward direction also but you will get the answer in negative value okay what is length of the beam length of the beam between a and b is 2.5 meter you can see and length of the beam between b and c is 0.3 meter you can see in the figure and at point b support reaction is vb at point a support reaction is va okay so these are the pure figure based sum only one inclined force is present at point c now let us see how the equilibrium method help us it is already useful to you as you have studied it earlier now so the same figure is replaced over here let us start with sigma is equal to 0 first now what is sigma is equal to 0 it means right force is equal to left force so here you can see right force is h a and left force is 80 kN so h a is equal to 80 kN so this is the calculation for horizontal forces okay 
Now let us start reactions using condition of equilibrium. Theta is already now available 61.92 by means of 10. Now taking moment at A, taking moment at this point. Okay, so how many forces are there? First force is this 70, 170 sine theta means 150 kilonewton. Uh, what is the distance from point C to point A? It will be 2.8 in total. So answer will be 150 into 2.8. It is going down like this, like this, going down. So it is clockwise. Now, another force is this VB. VB is going up. Okay. So upper force will give anti-clockwise movement like this. So anti-clockwise movement distance from VB to point A is 2.5 meters. So VB into 2.5. So answer will be VB is equal to 168 kN. So VB is equal to 168 with the help of calculator. Now what is our conventional method? VA and VB two forces are there. So if we have to find another reaction VA then we have to subtract VB means find a reaction from total vertical load. Now what is total vertical load? It is 150 kN you can see over here. So subtract 150 minus 168 as we have find out VB is equal to 168. So answer will be in negative value VA will be minus 18 kN. So hence VA is going down. So now we are finding resultant reaction RA which is equal to under root of VA square plus under root of HA square. So VA is equal to minus 18 now and HA is equal to 80 kN. So by replacing the values you can get the answer of RA is equal to 82 kN. And angle of resultant reaction is equal to 10 alpha there is, that is a mode of VA upon HA by replacing the values of VA and HA you will get alpha is equal to 12.68 degree. So here alpha is equal to 12.68 degree. So how many reactions we have found out? You don't concentrate on HA and VA separate components. You just concentrate on RA. Okay. Why? Because in Lamy's theorem, we only calculate RA directly. We are not going to calculate HA and VA separately. We just calculate RA. Then after we will calculate VB. And we will take the help of this 150 kilometer. So while going to Lamy's theorem, only three forces are available. First one is RA means resultant reaction somewhere over here. And second force is 150 kilonewton, sorry, 170 kilonewton inclined. And last force is VB going vertically up. So let us check the figure now. Okay, so this is the figure of Lamy's theorem. Now we are calculating the same numerical with the help of Lamy's theorem. Check out, we will find these three forces. Please check in the figure. First one is VA. Second one is 170. Actually 170 is from coming down from upward direction like this. Concentrate on the figure. It is like this coming from this direction and made a tensile force like this 170. Now here it is the angle 61.92 as we have calculated with the help of 10 alpha. This distance is 0.3 and this distance is 2.5 meter. Distance is not mattering right now. Now just angles are mattering. Here it is force HA, here it is force VA and resultant is going in this direction. Resultant of HA and VA is going in this direction. You can see this is RA. Okay. And this angle is 10 alpha means alpha 12.68 we have calculated earlier. And this is the vertical reaction VB at point B. So you just concentrate that at this point. You can see at this point all the forces are concentrated or concurrent. Because it is the condition of Lamy's theorem that three forces must be concurrent at some particular point. So at this point you can see 170 is going down like this. RA is going down like this and VB is going in the upward direction like this. Okay. So now let us check the game of angles. This is 61.92 degree. So if you draw dotted horizontal line over here, you can see dotted, hori dotted horizontal line. Then this angle will also become 61.92. This is also 61. 
0.92. So this angle is vertically opposite to it. This. So this is also now 61.92 degree. Now what we want, this is 12.68 degree over here. So this horizontal line, you can say this horizontal line and this dotted horizontal line are parallel. So this angle will also be 12.68 degree because it is corresponding angle. And then after this angle is also 12.68 because of vertically opposite angle of this. Okay. So this all angles are 12.68 degree. So only two angles are mattering 12.68 degree and 61.92 degree. So with the help of these angles, we have to calculate Lamis theorem right now. So let us check how the Lamis theorem is going. You can see using Lamis theorem, we have to find RA first. So while we are taking RA in the division, sign of angle between other two forces is required. So we are taking RA, okay, from this. You can see concentrate on the figure RA. So what is the angle between other two forces? It is from VB. You can see it is from VB to 170, this one, this total angle. So you can see VB is vertical only. So first one, this angle is 90 degree. Okay, this is 90. And in this 90, you will add 61.92. So you will get the total angle, 90 plus 61.92. Okay, so first step is complete for R. Now second step is for VB. So while you are taking VB, this force, vertical force, VB, then the opposite angle from RA to 170 is required. So this angle will be 180 is the total horizontal line angle. From that, you just subtract this 61.92 and this 12.68. Okay, like this. So you will get the required angle. Now the third value is 170. 170. So for 170 means for this force, you have to take this two angles 90 plus 12.68 so 90 plus 12.68 is the angle between other two forces by doing calculation you will get the simplified values in the calculator ra upon 0.47 is equal to vb upon 0.964 is equal to 170 upon 0.975 so by simplification you will get ra equal to 81.95 kN and VB equal to 168 kN. Now, these two angles must be equal to, uh, sorry, these two reactions must be equal to earlier RA and earlier VB, which we have calculated by the help of equilibrium method. So, you will check this RA is 81.95. So, what is in equilibrium method? So, you can see here RA is 82. Check out this 82. And what is VB? 168 check out here vb 168 and ra equal to 82 so here ra is equal to around 82 81.95 means near about 82 and vb is exactly equal to 168 kN. so this is the main logic or this is the main magic with the help of lamis theorem we can also find the support reactions so this is the very simplified or you can say very master magical sum in which we have used two methods, equilibrium method and Lamis theorem also. So, goodbye students. In the next lecture, we will definitely start a new chapter. Its name is Moment of Inertia. So, you just revise center of gravity first for this new chapter, Moment of Inertia. So, we will start the chapter with very ease. Thank you very much students.